But it was really good. <laughs> it was a really good zombie movie, believe it or not, because they had all these zombies, and then they had these other ones that were like these vicious skeletons, and the zombies were just kind of out of it. The zombies reminded me, in many ways, of human culture, because they were like the walking dead, and they didn't have a lot of emotions, and they didn't really articulate the, uh, <laughs> all they do is groan and moan, you know. Uh, and then, and it started out that way, and then this, woman, this girl gets kind of a real human, gets taken uh, by all the zombies, and, and she's over there, and, and she gets befriended by a zombie who was drawn to her humanness, to her aliveness, and it's, it's a love story, it's a zombie love story. <laughs> I mean, I would have, this is what I mean by the Holy Spirit's use. If you can use a zombie movie for waking up, you can use just about anything, and, and the Holy Spirit can use anything in this world. So, so this, she, he starts to fall in love, and, and she's freaked out by that. You know, imagine, you know, somebody who's, who's got an attraction for you who's a zombie. And his, I mean, he, he could hardly speak a word. Just, oh, oh. You know, it's like, I don't know how attractive that would be. You know, blood and, you know, it looks like a body that's been dead for a while, white and blood. And, and then, Yes, and really not good with articulation, <laughs> you know, it's, and then, but amazingly, he helps her and she feels his desire, the zombie's desire to be helpful, and eventually she draws him into communication, you know, he's able to come to life a bit with his communication, that's what the Holy Spirit's doing with all of us, you know, we, we know, we know swear words, we know how to scream at somebody, how to yell at somebody, and the Holy Spirit's like, that's just, mm, mm, to the Holy Spirit, <laughs> it's not exactly helpful. We have to learn how to let the Spirit use the words, you know, and then we have to have the demonstration in our lives to back up the words, otherwise people won't believe anyway if, they, if we're not in integrity with our words. The humans who were, who were afraid of the zombies because they thought the zombies wanted to kill them, they had to go through a change of mind too and learn that that they were coming alive and that they weren't to be feared anymore. So it was a whole movie about dropping the fear and <coughs> learning to trust and starting to see the sameness. And uh, eventually all of the skeletons, the kind of vicious skeletons, were, were eliminated or dissolved away and, and everybody came back to being human. So that's a metaphor of coming back from being walking dead to coming alive. And those are the kind of metaphors that, that, that are used in the Course. You know, he, he's talking in the workbook and he says, he's talking about the mind training and he says, you, you smile more frequently. When your mind is happy, then there'll be more smiling going on and less frowning. He said, your forehead is serene. What's great that's a symbol of a serene forehead instead of a, a, a frowning, wrinkly forehead. It's a serene forehead. That's the way of Jesus talking. There's another time in the Course where uh, he says, a smile has come on your sleeping face. So he still got the face with the eyes closed and like you're dreaming, but a smile has come. He's describing a sleeping face with a smile on it as you're starting to have a happy dream, you're starting to forgive, you're starting to let go of the attack thoughts and the judgments, and a smile has come on your, on your sleeping face. These are all beautiful metaphors using again the symbols that, that people relate to. You know, a smile you can relate to, a calm, serene forehead, you can relate to that. Those are the metaphors. And he also does um, guided meditations. You know, where he, he's asking you to go down in your mind and you, you sink into your mind through the clouds. And it's so beautiful. It's a visualization where Jesus Christ is taking you in your mind on a visual meditation. You go down and he says, feel, feel the clouds on your cheeks. So you've got this face going down and through these cheeks, the, the cheeks can feel the, the moisture, the, the 
clouds that go down. It's beautiful. He just has all this imagery. And so that's, the, that's another good way we use the images in a way that's guided by spirit to take us beyond the images, you know, to take us back to that state of mind. <clears throat>